Hey everybody, it's Virginia the Buckeye Gamer here and I'm back um, with another game haul. Now this is all Nintendo Switch games, but there's something special about this haul. So here as of late, I've really been um, diving into like easy games, um, you know, like games that are simple in nature and concept. Um, I'm trying to get away from action games for a while you know, just something that's relatively combat free. And what I mean by that is I'm really getting into cozy gaming. Um, for those of you that don't know, like cozy gaming is, you associate that like with life simulation and farm sim games um, and just cozy adventure, story-based games. But I got, um, been doing a lot of research, watching a lot of YouTube videos and even downloaded some demos on my Switch. But all the games that you see here are, cozy based games and we're just going to go through them all really quick because I'm really excited for this just to have days where I can sit back and relax not have to think about a whole lot you know not have a game that's not going to demand much of me so we're just going to go through these one by one um a lot of these are in the wrapping because I really haven't had a chance to play with them like I said some of them I've tried the demo for but we're just going to go down the list so this first one is potion permit complete edition now this is um like a like a cozy, easygoing RPG, and you know I love my RPGs, um, but this one includes all of the DLC that was released. Um, this is the one that I'm actually most excited to play. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's a lot of puzzles and just like a simple simple world to explore. So I'm definitely excited for this one. And then we also got Harvestella. Now, this is one that a lot of people have told me for quite some time to play. Now, this is a JR action JRPG, um, but it definitely has the farming aspect to it. So, again, I get to I get to have my RPGs, but again, it's a little more relaxed. Um, so, I know in the beginning I was saying combat free, but a lot of these ones have combat. So, yeah, but definitely this one I did try out the demo, and I love the demo. So definitely cannot wait to sink my teeth into this one. And then these next few, um, no, I'm going to do this one first. Uh, now this one I don't know a whole lot about. This is Minico's Night Market. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I can really say about this one is you play as this girl, Minico, and you're on this, uh, it's like a Japanese style island that has fallen on hard times and you're tasked with renovating the island and bringing life back into it. That's about all I really know. Um, I haven't really seen a whole lot of gameplay of this, but this one definitely has intrigued me. So looking forward to this as well. Um, and the next few here, these are more the farm, uh, the farming sim games. So we have Paleo Pines. So it's a farm sim with dinosaurs. And when I was a kid, I was obsessed with dinosaurs, like the Magic School Bus um, dinosaur game on the computer. I loved that game to death. Um, like any, any time if I go like to a local library uh, and I don't know if I, if I should be embarrassed to say this or not, they have a little section for kids still to this day and they have older computers back there with, um, you know, a lot of the older, uh, edutainment games. There's been times I would sneak back there and just play Magic School Bus for a couple of hours and no one's really ever said a word. So I don't know if I'm the only one that does it there or if other people do it as well. But again, Farm Sim with Dinosaurs looks pretty cool. And I, this game has gotten mostly good reviews from what I saw, but there has been a lot of mixed reviews as well. So, but I think I will like it. Um, you know, something happens I don't. I didn't pay a lot for this title. Actually, uh, with the exception of a couple that I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, well, actually, for except for Harvestella and then one game in here I'm going to show you. Well, two, actually. Um, most of these games are under $20 each. So <clears throat> just giving you guys a heads up, I bought most of these off of Amazon and Best Buy, um, just off of their website. So yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to that one too. And then here's one of them that was over 20. This is Fay Farm. This is a farming simulation game that I've heard a lot about. Um, it has more of an adventure aspect to it. You can have different, a lot of different tasks, a little more in depth than your average farm sim. But again, this is another one I played the demo for. Absolutely loved it. So <clears throat> I am excited to dig into this one. And I know with the Nintendo Switch version, you get the DLC for free from my understanding. So 
So yeah, that'll definitely add a lot of content to it. So looking forward to Fay Farm. And the last two kind of somewhat come from the same uh, same franchise. So this first one here, we have Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Um, I have played this one on the PlayStation 4 and do love it, but I'm trying to do most of my farm sims on the Nintendo Switch. Um, and I know a lot of these are available on PC and they do tend to run better on PC, but I don't have one right now. That might come in the future though. My husband and I are looking into a, a PC that um, we could probably work from home with, but also wanna play games on. So win-win there. Um, but yeah, I, this I think is a remake from my understanding of the Nintendo 64 Harvest Moon. I should have just said Harvest Moon 64, which actually was my first farm sim game now that I think about it. Love that game and I put a ton of hours into it as a kid. So, but, the, and this also might be a remake of a different game too. I know, I know there was a Friends of Mineral Town in the past, so I don't know. I think this might be a remake of a remake. If uh, You guys can uh, tell me if, in the comments below if you're familiar with this. But like I said, I have played this game on the PlayStation 4. Um, and I can't wait to play it on the Switch. And then the last one, um, this is another one I'm super excited to get into. And this is Harvest Moon Winds of Anthos. Now, for those of you that don't know, Harvest Moon did become Story of Seasons for a while. But then I think um, it... Harvest Moon itself came back, so now Story of Seasons and Harvest Moon are separate. But this one, um, I know Harvest Moon there for um, a few of the games on the Switch didn't turn out very well. This one, everyone says, is the best. So I'm definitely, one of the times where I'm going to sink my teeth into it, I don't know if I'll, I have a long weekend this weekend, so I don't know if I'll sink my teeth into it or not. But if I do, I know I'm going to have a good time. I have watched a lot of gameplay of this one, so... I didn't really get like much into like the story, but I have seen like the open world. This is a really, this is a nice open world. So um, I love my open world games and this definitely again would be a win-win for me. You know, like the cozy RPGs and um, the farming RPGs, this will work for me as well. So, so yeah, like I said, I'm uh, really whoops, dropping things too. Really getting into cozy gaming, and I can't wait to get more. I did download a few um, digital titles, like I got on my Switch. I also got Night in the Woods, um, and I also got this Animal Crossing type game called Hoko Life. I haven't spent a whole lot of time with it, but it definitely gives Animal Crossing vibes. Um, and it has a couple features that I wish Animal Crossing would have, at least New Horizons. So, so yeah, I'm definitely excited about cozy gaming. I can't wait to, like I said, just get into these games so I can sit back, relax, and have a game that's not going to demand a whole lot of me. So, all right, that ends it for this video. And as always, if you guys like what you see, go ahead and leave a like and comment down below and subscribe. And as always, remember, Jesus is real. He loves you. I love you too. You all stay safe, and I'll see you next time.